personally being based in Mayfair and working here, what's your path? I mean, Duke Street is gorgeous. We're in one of the oldest buildings on Savile Row for, with Norton's, which is, you know, dates back to the 1730s. There's an elegance to the, to the area, which obviously the architecture reflects, but yeah, also the, the people, the parks, yeah. the, the green spaces. There's a, there's a, there's, you know, there's a sort of old school elegant charm mm. about the whole place. What changes have you seen? You know, the landlords have woken up to the fact that Mount Street is about beautiful young women's wear designers. Mm. Uh, Duke Street is about great, you know, contemporary men's mm. wear. Savile Row obviously is the home of bespoke tailoring. Mm. And, and Cork Street is galleries. And that sense of kind of creating individual little Specialist choice, yeah, little yeah, communities yeah, yeah. within, yeah. within what's already quite a small yeah. community. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons that Mayfair is so special. I've been editing Mayfair Times for 11 years now, and every day I discover something new and special. You know, people associate it with class, it's full of history as well, and to get all those things in, you know, one tiny little area, I think is very special. Thank you. This is lovely here for afternoon tea. Yesterday I was in, I walked through Mount Street Gardens and sat, just sat down on one of the benches yes, and do. just, it was just so peaceful. It, it, it's nice that you have, you know, of course you've got the international brands, but then you have, the, you know, quirky individual shops. I love sending my overseas friends to Mount Street and knowing that they can see the creme de la creme British Absolutely. fashion on one lovely street. Exactly, um, exactly. But then you can go to Shepherd Market mm. and, you know, discover some independent little mm. shops or go to Burlington Arcade, you know, um, where you, again you've got a, uh, such a historic location. Yeah, we've been talking about that yeah. kind of beautiful harmony in Mayfair with an authentic spirit which um, has been protected, I think. I mean, we're very lucky that Mayfair is the centre of all those things. One of the big draws for Lock & Co recently is um, the Kingsman movie, yeah. Yeah, of um, where Colin Firth says in the film, you know, if you're looking for a hat, there's only one place to go. Cue Samuel L. Jackson walking out of Lock & Co with a top hat, which Dreams. for us, yeah. you know, couldn't, yeah. couldn't have been better. Yeah. And there's some people there that have been there, still, still family a family owned. business. Yeah, there's still the family members in there, and the uh, chairman's sort of, uh, I think, three times great-grandfather, a guy called James Benning, was the inspiration for the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. Charles Dodgson was a was a customer. Really? And so it's, it's nice to be not just involved in hats, but to be involved in the fabric of the sort of history of the area. I can't imagine any city, I, I don't know of any city, mm. where within 400 yards of here, you could walk down one street and have some of the world's best art galleries, turn left and have the world's best international brands, turn right and have the real sort of traditional English boutiques, all within you know, Plus sort of the gardens and parks. Yeah, and then a little oasis of calm yeah. if you want some yeah. downtime. It's really special.